And yeah. what's so cool about it is you got to do a gospel presentation at the end of every episode as yeah, well. Man. So um, there, there's a short gospel presentation that we do different on every episode. Right. So it'll reach different people. And I think the way you did it was brilliant on how um, you just kind of, it's, it's, we're kind of easing people into it too. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's not abrasive at all. I feel like uh, my dad watched it and saw the gospel presentation. He was like, wow, that was great. That was perfect. Yeah, and I, so I, I really, really like how we did it. I'll, let's, you know, and I'll, I want to explain to my audience kind of how we did the gospel presentation because I know what's going to happen. Somebody's going to watch the first one. Yeah, they're going to panic. And they're going to be like, he didn't he, cover he, yeah, all these yeah, things. He, he didn't cover eternal security. You know, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't follow all the rules, you know. And, and so the thing is, what we did, since there's five episodes, we didn't want to just have the same presentation on the end of all of them. We also didn't want to have like a real long presentation. So kind of the way we did it is on at the end of each one, we kind of focus on different aspects of the gospel and try to cover some of the different hangups. And then, of course, there's a very strong point to Jesus Christ right. on all those things. So the first one, uh, we kind of cover just the sinfulness of man and how man is not how man from the beginning of time since they fell um, has done what they could to cover their own sins by sewing fig leaves together. And I explain how uh, there are no works that we can do to make up for our sin. You know, we can't. There's no. We can't repent of enough sins or have enough reformation in our life to make up for our own sin. Only Jesus Christ can do it. Just like one man brought sin into the world, one man Jesus Christ brought brought eternal life. And so um, I felt like it explained, you know, why we even need to be saved. You know, the whole must realize you're a sinner. And so we kind of focused on that in the first one. But it still has a very strong yeah. point to Jesus Christ. And so uh, on one of them, I don't remember which one, we focused on eternal security. Yeah. So for those who are going to panic when they see <laughs> that, and I will get criticized by some of the, oh, yeah, by some of the sure. net jobs out for there. Sure. Uh, but you know there is a plan. You're just not going to see it all at once. Yeah. And I, I really think it was. An but I think it's more effective it. how you do it because it's it shorts to the point and you make. I mean it it, it sinks in mm-hmm. what you're saying. Um, so I think you did it perfect. I I, I love how it it uh, is all going down and and you know what it's it's gonna a lot of people are gonna see it. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, yeah. So keep that in mind. So whenever those of you that follow me out there, when you see some nut job out there <laughs> criticizing me for leaving out eternal security, uh, just understand that's another mouth that's you know taken off too soon. Right. As often happens. But uh, but yeah. So I was I felt very privileged to uh, do that part, and you know hope it you know helps reach a lot of people because because a lot of people are gonna see this. You know. 